Hey, what is going on, guys? And today we are going to be reviewing Ed Trunken and Chase Racelet from the RS 24 Hours Endurance Racers series. Again, we got Skylar here with me. What's up? And, um, so there was a little bit of a mishap. I kind of uh, messed up the Chase Racelet review when I unboxed this one right here. So at least I have another one in the package here that I can show the box and then I can review the, him out of the box. But Ed Shrunken is just going to have to come out of the box, which is definitely my favorite, by the way. Anyways, so we'll start with Chase. So obviously, his name is Chase Racelet. And, um,. In the package, he already looked really good. Next gen color shift paint job. And then something that I find really weird is that one, they're going backwards on the motor speed where this house track. And second, this is the RS Lightning McQueen, and that's just normal Jack and Storm. Really, Mattel? Why you gotta be that lazy, man? Anyways, RS 24 hour endurance race cars. On the back, we got Jackson, Chase, JD McMillan, and Lightning McQueen. And then the description reads, Harder, faster, sleeker, 24-hour race is on, and these next-gen racers are ready to push themselves to the limits. And then there's the Motor Speedway of the South again. So, there is Chase, and I'm not going to open him. Alright, for Ed, though, which we are going to open, uh, we've already looked at all the packaging, so we'll just look at him inside real quick, and we'll see who's on the back. So on the back we got, yeah, Tim Treadless, ha, <laughs> for sure, sure, Mattel, yeah, that's <clears throat> Tim Treadless for sure, um, no, that's not tr Tim Treadless, uh, Chase Racelet, JD McMillan, and Lightning McQueen, not Tim Treadless, <laughs> that is Rich, Rich Mixon, not Tim Treadless, Mattel, why you gotta be like that? He's opening it, and I really want to know what this looks like, guys. Okay, we got him out. Okay, guys, so we got them all out of the package. They look amazing right now. Um, we'll start off with Chase, because he's my <laughs> least favorite out of the two. Um, let me know which one's your favorite, though. Anyways... Right here, we got Fight and Lean logo there for older active cars. Fight and Lean logo with some gray stripes right here. And this green metallic paint job looks really good. And it turns into like maybe a tannish yellowish color. I don't know if I can get it. Maybe like right there. And then on the side, we got uh, white rims with... A uh, green light year uh, logo on the tires. His contingency sponsors are Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon's, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. Then right here we got some like he's going fast stripes right there. Another one here with some gray and white. Number 24. We got a white Vitaline sign there. It looks like it was like made out of paper, which I think looks pretty cool. Back here, we got a 24 at the left and a Vitaline logo at the right. Then we got a gray spoiler with a stopwatch and RS 24 hour logo right there. On the top, we got 24 with in the green and then a white stripe that comes up over it. And then we also got the same thing on the other side. So yes, very cool car, but I mean... I think we can all admit he's way better. Um, but now we will go on to Moon Sprints. Ed Trunken. So, he color shifts from a blue to a purple paint job. Looks, looks really cool. Um, anyways, we got a very determined expression for Ed. Big Mood Springs logo. We got white and blue right here. Springs. And we got white stripes that come up by the hoods. By the hood, not hoods. Hood. Uh, same continuancy sponsors. We got white rims again. 33. We got the Mood M right there with the blue or the purple inside of the M, I guess you could say. Again, it makes looks like it made out of paper. So I think that looks really cool. Then we got a black spoiler this time with a purple stopwatch and RS 24 hour logo. And then on the top, we just got a white 33. 
And then on the back here, we got a 33 with the Mood Springs logo again right here. And then same thing on the other side. So uh, we're actually going to go up to my radiator spring spot so we can get these guys a little bit more light to see how they really shine. So uh, this is my radiator spring setup now. I got a, I've put up a big shelf, but look, they shine really good right there. They look really good, I think. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye now.